Hi, welcome back. Another important session. So this is uh, common for all SAP modules, but I would like to show in the perspective of SD or S4 HANA module. Both places, the same setting will be there. So the topic is set decimal places for currency control in SAP SD, ECC or S4 HANA. Okay. So let's try to understand this, how it works. So let me share my screen quickly. Okay, if you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe my channel. Currently it is having 500 and plus videos. So almost close to 600 in future. Okay, whichever I know, I'm just trying to transfer my knowledge. See these prices are up now, but when the price is low, you can able to try to utilize an opportunity to learn SAP SD. So this is 102.5 hours day to day, it is increasing. I'm just adding this video also here. So this is for like, you know, SAP SD Bible. If someone wanted to do Gita or Quran, whatever you call, if you wanted to learn in a full-fledged manner, you try this course. I'm requesting if you're a beginner, then you will thoroughly enjoy my courses. And if you are already trying getting master to write functional specification and SD courses, so many courses are there at my end. And I have a specific course for IDOCs with five scenarios and transportation, LE and ECC basics. So if you really wanted to get into this, this is the right place for learning. Okay. I'm just providing those links below of this video. So where exactly this currency control setup will be there? SAP NetWeaver section. Of course, module wise also you can able to control in company code level, company code and country wise also you can control that also there will be 90 or something like that. Probably I will get a chance. I will show you. This is that general common level. Okay. I will show you this one. Give me a moment. So let me try to create a new sales order. I would like to show you. This is standard screen. So if you look at here, so with practical, I'm showing you. So if you come here, so let's try to give some 22 quantity, some odd quantity, then this is 4.400. Okay, this is controlled by user level decimal notation, but decimal control, what is decimal control? I will show you. So let's come here, go to the conditions. Okay, now if you look at here, each pack is 200. So 22 pack means 4,400. That's what it is saying. Let me try to take a screenshot. So just wanted to make a comparison, okay? After making the setting actually. Okay, you can remember this 4.400 comma double zero. So now let's go to SPR reference IMG. Okay. Come here, SAP NetWeaver. That's what I'm telling. Okay. So come here. So let's try to come here, general settings. Okay. So let's come here, currencies. Okay. Check currency codes. And below that, you can find set decimal places for currencies. Okay. That's what it is talking about. So this is a cross client. If you try to change here automatically across landscapes, it will be changed. This is the warning from SAP side because it at high level, right? Global level in a product, in a productive system, you must not delete currencies in use or change the decimal places. Would be um, this good amounts in documents already posted in correct or invalid. Don't try to experiment in real time if really want it okay it will be configured anybody who has some experience but you try to understand okay let's click on s no issues so here you can see this japanese currency is there i think this is italy okay so different currencies are there let's try to go to new entries i'm just taking inr okay indian rupee Taking time, okay. Let's maintain two decimals. What happens, we'll see now. Press enter. User, use another input. This is what it is saying, one second. 
I think two, it is not there. Let's try to make it uh, three decimals. Someone might have deleted this one. Okay. Let's save this. So now we have saved three decimals, I said. Let's try to create an order. Let me check whether you are watching right screen or not. Yes, you are watching right screen, no issues. So let's press enter. Take this material with 22 quantity. Now you can see this decimals, it is moved actually. Okay, anyhow. And generally, we don't play with the system like this until unless if it is required. Now, see this decimal city changer, right? Okay. So, let me try to show you the screenshot. Um, you can have a comparison between these two. I think probably you can see or not. Okay. This is in, I think you can see. Okay. Now, you can see this, how the decimals got changed. Okay, it has impact like this when you maintain a dismiss. But certain times for certain countries and certain scenarios, this you're supposed to control it. Okay, so but controlling on full currency level, or else uh, let's try to incorporate some logic such a cases, these net waiver settings will be useful. Okay, so you can have a look around one more time. This is 4.400. So, whereas, let me try to show you, this one is 440 comma, okay? You can able to control the decimals. Let's try to make a change to single digit, okay? Let's play our role. So, this is practice system then I'm playing, okay? Don't try these kind of things in your quality system or any project landscape, okay? Parenthes. Okay, the center. Enter again. Just check no issues if it is practice system then. Okay. Continue. Where is INR? Let's make it to one. Okay. So let's give some 22 again. So now see this single decimal. Okay. So now it was previously 200. So when it is 2000, then 44,000. This is how the difference will come into picture. Okay. So I think you can able to see this. Okay. So this so 4.400 become like, you know, 44,000. Certain times it should be needed. You can utilize it, but global level, if you change, it has an impact. It depends how you want to do that. Okay, let's don't do this because this is a practice system. I don't want to disturb others. Must have common sense, right? Every time. So learning is no problem, but still we shouldn't disturb others. That's why I'm just resetting back. Continue. Let's delete this completely. Not required. Okay. You can try. You can learn. Keep learning and keep uh, keep practicing. And if you really like my videos, please subscribe my courses. And please. Stay tuned with my YouTube channel so that, you know, you can learn a lot of stuff. If you're a beginner or experienced, it doesn't matter. Knowledge doesn't have any boundaries.
thank you so much and i wish you all the best for your future endeavors and current practice jai bharat thank you if you really like this video please like and comment thank you